glue the fuck out of the second wig. Just glue it. It should not be pivoting Just on an axis. Glue it. Just glue the wig down. Hi, I'm better down where it's wetter, Champagne and Amea. And I'm that bus that everyone keeps getting thrown under, Allison Chains. And we're here with the Drag Race Tea Party at the Gladstone Hotel. Oh my god. Okay, girl, let's talk about this five to six action. So this week, five becomes six. It's a grower, not a shower. <laughs> five girls turn into six girls because Fifi goes home, which I don't even want to talk about because the internet has said enough. I know, but I just want to talk about it so badly. That poor girl. Mm, like, it was just like a weight lifted off the workroom. We've got Alyssa and Tatiana back this week. And thank God. And Champagne's favorite thing of the week, we get to see under Christian models. It's the most bulge on network TV mm. outside of Teen Wolf. You know, mm. it's just so, so, so much bulge. Fucking good. I loved this mini challenge because it made, like, it made me really think of like when they have ridiculous mini challenges, like in season oh my God, four. So good we're like, well, remember that one when they had to pick up like um, eggs with their butt cheeks? Oh my God, yeah. <laughs> like, remember? And they had to like do an obstacle that course. That was so good. I mean, <laughs> I'm just gonna like do it every day. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just gonna like. Oh, ow, that hurt. Allison Dom Top Chains. Allison Dom Top Chains. Don't ask me to slap your ass, then expect me not to commit. Mm. I'm just saying. <laughs> so the main challenge of the week is that uh, they have to do kind of a Shark Tank product pitch business oh, proposal kind of thing. I would feel so uncomfortable in a situation like that. What would your product be? Taking the suit off of that daddy. Oh my god, no. That's what my like product would be. Like the judge guy? Mm. Mm -mm, not, mm -mm. not about it. <laughs> I think that your product would probably be like a little like Merkin. Like a chest wig. Yeah. Like a fashion accessory chest wig. And then you could use Roxy's yeah. wig front wig lace glue. shit. There you <laughs> wig front lace, bollocks, whatever. <laughs> it was cute. For the girl that wants to dabble in the alternative drag arts but doesn't quite know where to start. There you go. <laughs> I loved Alaska's product. I thought uh, the tape thing, it's like, it's so simple, but the thing is when- uh, It was also like so fashion. It was so fashion. Oh. And when Michelle was like, oh, is that all? She was like, actually I have 14, 14 props. I was like, slay, and you can do it. Let's talk about Katya's product. Oh my God. The like crisis oh my God. control Katya's spray. was so fucking good. The licensed professional that they brought in to tell them what to do literally said like scrap your idea scrap the bottle don't do it and she went for it anyways there was no there was no talking slated. head there was no internal debate there was no her being like should i do it she just did, did it. it just did it she just did herself and she killed it she won for fuck's sake it's oh, like god it was so stick good. to your guns and i love it like tatiana's didn't really sell me on it and roxy okay uh, not at all my complaint about roxy's commercial is was the wig line if your thing Every is wig glue, and time. the thing you're known for is a wig reveal where you glued the fuck out of that second wig, <laughs> glue the fuck out of the second wig. Just glue it. It should not be pivoting Just on an axis. glue it. Just glue the wig down. You've got time. Both your, of them. Your whole thing, no. Oh, both could, of them. Could you imagine? She goes to reveal the first one, and she's like, ah, ah. The, the shadiest, shadiest moments. Moment. Um, my shadiest moment, I think, was the fact that Fifi was gone and there was not a lot of shade. End of segment. Literally, like, <laughs> it was night and day, everyone the way so everyone happy. seemed in the workroom, that it was like, oh. Yeah, that was the lack of shadiest There was moment. a lot less manufactured That's drama. Was. I mean, I also but... thought it was kind of shady that Alaska sent Tatiana home. I agree. I mean, we're Alaska Talks, cool story, brah, but, like, come on. The, the filthiest, filthiest moment. moment. Whoa, uh, it's, it's like a reflex. Ew. Oh, <coughs> what is my body? What is my body, God? Um, my filthiest moment, our filthiest moment, I think. A one hundred, one hundred. Katya's runway. Like a perfectly fitted, amazing, like dusty maroon and beige gym suit. Just looked like the fucking gym teacher that I had in high school. It was like Anna Wintour was like, I'd like to do a spread on gym teachers this week. It's like, Boosh. it was stunning. Oh my God. Um, what were your gym teachers like in high school? <laughs> 
cut. Yeah? Daddy issues. No, not mine. I just like opted out of gym so I didn't have to get an erection in the change room. There it is. <laughs> um, my favorite memory of a gym teacher is I remember uh, a man in a green tracksuit chain smoking while I ran laps. That's hot. And saying that there's slow and then there's me. This is oh. a true story. Yeah. Totally rude. Um, but I also gave my first blowjob in our lo uh, locker room, so I won. Yeah. Yeah. Tatiana's runway, let's talk about that. Okay, so the runway was kind of like, meh. But yeah. then the fucking performance was like full on good like, shit. She came out and I liked the That was the what outfit. sold us on it. She started flawlessly TLC t boss dancing and I was like, oh my god. <laughs> That's what. <laughs> that was like the PS de Cristo. And therein lies the all-stars dilemma, is that Tatiana went home even though her runway was so good, but putting effort in on the runway this season it means nothing because the other girls don't get to see it they don't see it they're backstage waiting for their runway that is a whole new drag race dilemma that we've never even thought of no you know if, if i was rude um, if uh, i was rude yeah <laughs> i probably would have had like a million fucking weaves falling from the ceiling when they were doing the shooting. True. That'd be really A fun. million. That's what I would have done. And then have the Because that was cute. It would just been like so much better. With have that ending bit from Chicago play when Roxy and Velma shoot out the sign where it's like <laughs> all the light bulbs. And then yeah. just all the wigs on the ground. Predictions. Is there a B in here? My prediction is that next week Roxy Andrews goes home. That's my prediction. Oh, that's such a good prediction. Unless she uh, wins and then lip syncs and then she goes one wig and they're like again girl and then she goes another Jeez. wig and then they're like cut to that gif of Michelle being like <laughs> and then another wig and then the suit falls off and it's Coco. Yeah. <laughs> My prediction is that Roxy Andrews is Coco Montrese in a Roxy Andrews suit. Oh shit those plastic dolls. Next week whoever gets cut off eliminated, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Cut off. That fucking alarm is going to go off again. I oh. hope to God. They're going to be like, oh, I feel really bad. <laughs> whoop, whoop. Hey, kitty girl. It's my prediction. Your time is not over yet. And then there's 18 more episodes. Please. Join us next week. At the fabulous Gladstone Hotel. The artsiest hotel like ever. I love it so much. The best hotel. Do you think the ghosts here like us if there's ghosts? I don't know. One tried to trip me out of a chair today. Ooh, Ooh that's shit. weird. They don't like us. They don't like her. Um, where we will be reviewing and spilling the tea on RuPaul's Drag Race All-Stars Season 2.